Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of the new business updates and expansions. All right. So if you guys did not know, which you probably should, with the Criminal Enterprises DLC, a lot of our favorite businesses have been expanded. And I'm going to go into detail and explain and talk about what these are. Okay. So first up, we've got the executive or basically CEO crates, the special cargo. All right, so the changes with the CEO creates a special cargo. We now have new source cargo missions, and we now have a new daily export mixed goods mission. All right, and on top of that, with Lupe, we now have staff inside of our warehouse that we can pay, and they will go get crates for us. Now, with the export mixed goods mission, it kind of works in tandem with the staff, where the warehouse staff, when you pay them. All right, so this is how it works. Your assistant will call you or you can come up here and check. And as you have paid them the $7,500 to go out and search for crates for you, they will get like a random export mixed goods mission. All right, so it works in tandem. And each one of your warehouses will have free of charge to, um, a staff, like a warehouse staff. You go there, you pay them $7,500, go and they start searching for crates. For and they will get back either one crate, two crates, or three crates. It's random. All right, and it takes 48 real life minutes for them to deliver the crate for you. Now, it's again, so far as we know, it's random, but while they're out searching, one of these mixed goods will pop up and you'll be able to sell one of those as well. All right, so that's, you know, interesting, right? It's a little uh, micro managing. You have to kind of go around to each one of your warehouses and, and do this, but it is what it is, okay? For the MC business, your MC clubhouse now has a couple of things that we are familiar with. You can now. If you own a custom mod shop, a custom MC mod shop in your clubhouse, you can now customize and sell motorcycles just like you can in the auto shop, right? Your client cards in the auto shop, you customize, you sell them, you can do the same thing now in the MC clubhouse as long as you own a clubhouse auto shop garage inside like the actual mod shop, right? In addition to that, you also have popularity missions where you go to Cindy the bartender, you start up a popularity mission, and you also now have a safe inside of your clubhouse office where you'll collect money from. On top of that, there are also a few new contract missions as well. So basically, we get something sort of like the nightclub popularity missions, and we get the auto shop client vehicle deliveries as well in your MC clubhouse. So as you see right here, I own a motorcycle mod shop in the clubhouse, which you need to have to do this. And it's just like the client vehicles in the auto shop. You just customize it to how the client wants, and you make your delivery, and you're good to go. Pretty simple, right? Uh, for me, I've, I'm only going to be doing, like, the exact customization the first time. I'm going to sort of spam through it as quick as I can to get it delivered, because it'll all be a net profit no matter what. All right, so you take care of that, make the delivery, and you're good to go. Now, keep in mind, your first delivery will be basically a triple bonus. As you see right here, I get paid 180,000. So typically it'll be between 40 and 60,000 that you'll be making on a regular basis for this, all right? So don't think you'll be getting 180 every single, every single time. So up here I'm starting a popularity mission. You go to now we know her name Cindy, do a resupply the bar, and you just roll out. You go to the particular location and you bring back some booze or whatever. What we found out is that this is similar to a uh, import export where when you pick up the target vehicle you'll have several waves of bad guys basically just get in the vehicle spawn the bad guys and then just dis dispatch of the bad guys there should be two anywhere between two and four waves of bad guys it's typically three and four you have three waves of a couple you know bad guy motorcycle bikers or whatever you take them out and then you can get back in the truck and you drive on out as you see right there you have a supplies indicator the bottom right hand corner just got to make sure that that stays up and you'll be fine. But yeah, you can just pull over, get out, take care of the bad guys, and then go and make your delivery and you'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, so no big deal right there. All right. And like I was saying before, it is like something similar to the nightclub where you'll start getting patrons on the inside and there'll be an actual safe in your clubhouse office where you can collect money from. All right. And we'll have more on that later at how it accumulates. As you see right here, we got some people in here. They're going to be hanging out. So very similar to the nightclub. All right. And then, of course, we have some new contract missions. You'll find your contract missions inside the MC Clubhouse meeting area, inside the meeting room. 
Moving on to the nightclub. All right. The nightclub has a couple of new features as well. With the nightclub, you have new club management missions that you can launch, basically for your popularity. All right. You'll be kicking out, uh, you know, drunk people, you know, doing bodyguard work. You'll be taking people who have passed out to their home. And it's basically just a popularity mission. So nothing too crazy with that. In addition, though, you can also call Johan. And Johan, when you call him, and he has a cooldown timer of 20 minutes. But once you call Johan, he'll source a crate for you that's directly for your actual nightclub. You'll also be able to see your nightclub value and stock level. Which I actually think that's a good touch right there. So as you see right here, a little it's basically a new management mission. Again, for your nightclub popularity. This guy's just sitting here passed out inside the office. Take the VIP back to their house. Um, you know, you have to, you can't drive too fast. It's a AGL tactic, artificial game lengthener. Kind of slows the game down a little bit for you. But you take it back to your house. You get paid, you know, a few, you know, like 30,000 bucks. Not too bad. And that helps out with your nightclub popularity, as you see right here. And you'll get a little backstory. It's one of the Duggan's lawyers. Maybe he'll give you a hookup on some gas, right? Yada, yada, yada. Just a couple of extra nightclub popularity missions. And as you see right here, $33,000 comes into the pocket. But like I was saying, when you call Johan, he'll, he's able to actually set up, it's almost like your own personal business battle. So when you call him, you can request nightclub goods. You also see your stock level and your current stock value. So you request the nightclub goods, he'll call you back in just a few seconds and tell you where you need to go. It will be for something that you need to have in your actual nightclub warehouse. So you go over to the location, take out the bad guys that are there, pick up the actual crate, and take it back to your nightclub. And it directly goes towards whatever is like, say you just have one uh, particular item that you need to get. So it's like one category that still is trying to be sourced. It'll go right for that, which is pretty cool. And of course, there'll be different missions and from what you see right here. This is a basic one. Just jump on the boat. The crate's right here inside uh, the, the uh, captain's room take it back to the nightclub and it goes right towards your nightclub warehouse so that's pretty cool I do think that's a good addition so you don't always have to wait for business battles but like I was saying you will have a 20 minute cooldown timer until you can call him again and use Johan services so for the gun running business there's a few new additions to this as well there's a few new resupply missions. If you're going to source your uh, cargo yourself, if you want to do source missions, there'll be a few new ones on there. In addition to that, every so often, you'll get a call from Agent 14, and there will be excess supplies that you can sell to ammunition. So you get inside the dune loader. It's got your supplies. Again, you'll have uh, several waves of bad guys that will be coming at you. As soon as they pop up on the radar, just jump out of the vehicle and take them out. There's usually, like I was saying, three waves of two guys two bad guys you know a couple vehicles take them out and then you're you'll be good to go for the rest of your way down to the actual location to whatever ammunition store you have to drop it off at and again your first time delivery you'll get you know a triple bonus which will be between 150 to 180,000 and so standard you'll make about 40 to 60,000 on this which is pretty cool nothing wrong with that right in addition, and this will help out a lot of new players, you can call Agent 14 and you can set up a actual research mission. So if you're trying to get research done in your bunker, which I'm sure a lot of people still have not completed yet, you can call Agent 14 and he will set up a research mission. Now, I've already got my research done and a lot of people already do, so that may not be as you know big of a benefit, but you now have that option if you have a new character or if you're starting out new in the game. So that is all of the expansions to the businesses that have come with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Uh, sorry I've been inactive, guys. I've gotten real bad sick. Um, you know, the big uh, COVID has entered the Tylerius household. So me and Miss Tylerius are fighting that right now. And it's just, it's just been rough. So, um, yeah, sorry I haven't done any live streams or making a lot of videos. I want to get this put out because I thought this would be, you know, important. But... Yeah, you know how it is, man. You just got to take care of business and uh, keep on keeping on, all right? So thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.